guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 11 of season 2 of Love Live Nijiga Saki School Idol Club. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1. Cut him. In 3, 2, 1, go. There we go. Cutting. And how can you be so sure about that, Kasumi? Yeah, I mean, you have 13 girls. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me. Basically. Hmm. She's right. Are you not studying, baby? True. Mm 
Exactly. I thought you of all people would be like, yeah, let's go for it. Oh, babe. <laughs> of course, best girl. I know, for a 14-year-old. They all look so cute together. I can't. My heart. So basically now, in a way, we're all in favor, yes, for this. Which is good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cause to me. <laughs> Do 
Jesus Christ, seven in the morning. Oh, how do you do it? about You're 13. So, of course, you want to run. Mm -hmm. Honey. Mm -hmm. You want to talk about it? Mm. I know.
think she's upset with the fact that everything is changing, but she wants it all to stay the same. Yeah, but are you okay? <laughs> mm hmm. So, what are you worried about? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I figured it would be that. Oh my god! <sighs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus, you'll always have them, even after you graduate. For me, yeah. I mean, but we got two episodes left with this. How are we going to get this, like, beginning, middle, and end? Well, no, they can do it because it's two episodes. So, of course.
for Mia. So cutting. <laughs> okay, so cutting cutting's like what third or fourth best girl for me. Like it, it between her, I and Kanata, because I love them all so much, but like oh babies. This episode was like for for a cotton focus episode really really good I mean I can really sympathize with her and how she feels because of the fact is you're you know as someone who several years ago when I was graduating high school and such I was very scared about change and you know everything was gonna that was gonna you know happen for me the good the bad and everything in between even now like everything that happens every single day and when I wake up and you know we're having like a brand new adventure and stuff you're always like freaking out and stuff because you never know truly what in the world is gonna happen so I get the fact that you know this whole episode she was upset about change yes as third years you are the first three that'll eventually leave and you're like that sucks because you want to be with these girls forever. And that's why I love the fact that they all decided as a group that they don't want the club to be official, that they just want it with these 13 and these 13 only. Just like the same thing with Aquas and Muse, respectfully, when it was their time. Uh-oh. Hmm. I don't like what is going on. I We're going to separate them. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what it's going to be. We're, we're ending this second season with Ayamu and, and you being separated. It, it seems like we're going that way. Y'all are, they're pulling an Aikatsu with this, where, with Ichigo and Aoi, and when they got separated at the end of season one, and then, like, a week later when season two started airing, I think, like, an almost, like, a week or two later, Aoi and Ichigo, <laughs> Ichigo, you know, made their way back to each other because, you know, at that time when I think Aikatsu was still airing, for at the end of season one going on to season two when I was thinking that I had to wait like a whole year but only had to wait until a week for season two episode one I was expecting like we were not gonna see Ichigo for like a long time now if this show supposedly gets a season three because if we're really looking at love live in general like none of the love live shows have ever gone past two seasons it's always two seasons in a movie and such. I can see this one, you know, continuing on if they want to, like, really push it on two, three seasons. Same thing with Superstar airing next month. Um, and such. But something just tells me we are going to get a movie for both of those series eventually. So probably, like, in the next, like, three to five years from now, we should be seeing a movie that will be the true conclusive ending for both Nijikasaki and superstar when they air respectfully or when they get into theaters and such like that but i mean it really seems like we're going that way and that when the movie comes out that's when you was gonna make her triumphant return and such i don't really know because you know this is it, it's anybody's guesses that's the thing but the biggest thing that makes you wonder what the message ayamu got what that entails for her and what is that going to truly mean for both her and you because they're like this. They're, they're girlfriends, and I cannot imagine separating them. But if it was for the plot, and we're saying we have to separate them, I get it. But at the same time, I'm like, no, let them be together. But yeah, for a cotton focus episode, probably this would be my second favorite episode for her. I mean, her uh, ultimately, her first for me is the one in season one. Uh, any episode really focused on her and the third years in general are usually always my favorite episodes because I feel like as third years, those, the, the third years are like, in my opinion, with their stories and everything, always feel like the most emotional ones. And 
from all the way from Muse to now, every single time when I watch like a 30 year moment, I always end up like either getting really, really upset, especially when it's like time for the third years to graduate and it's like that it, it's even more upsetting because i'll never forget the first time i watched season two and you know the fact is that you know they weren't gonna be together all over again and such and the, whoa god i was a freaking mess we don't want to talk about that but yeah i was even a worse mess you know at the end of season two for sunshine like jesus christ big old mess and i feel like when we get to the end of this, I feel like this is going to be a completely other story. Or I might be, like, completely fine on the outside, but on the inside, I'll be a crying behind mess. But, I mean, here's hoping that, like, this, the, the last remaining two episodes that we have end on a good note so that when we get to the movies that it ends it on an even grander scale to the point where they do something that is very close to both season, I mean, not season one, original Love Live and Sunshine, and, and possibly even top it, and then I want to see Superstar do something else to top the previous three. So, uh, th this little whole thing, fingers freaking crossed, I need it. I need it. Like, like, when the movies come out, step that ending game up. I need it. I want it. I want to be, like, crying my butt off when I finish the movies for the first time, but... Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 11 of season 2 of Love Live and Chikasaki School Idol Club. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 12. Bye, guys.